Welcome everybody! I honestly can't see anything with these glasses, so that's why we're just gonna flip them up and pretend that I still look very much like a scientist, even though I look a little more like a doctor, let's be real. Welcome everyone to Lab Alley, aka Alley's Lab, Lab of the Alley. We don't know what the name is yet, but we're gonna go with La Valley for now. This is a show where we take interesting makeup products, take them apart, destroy them in the end, and try to figure something out about them to see if they are worth the price, worth the product, or just in general, figure out some fun stuff about makeup science. What we're talking about today is these two bad boys here. So we have the Catrice Ultimate Lip Glow, and it claims to be a, col a lip color intensifier and one shade fits all. So the coolest thing about this is that it is like neon glowing and it's clear. It's literally clear. And the Essence Kiss the Frog lipstick. This Essence Kiss the Frog lipstick I think is very similar to the Lipstick Queen lipstick that is green and then like changes color when it comes in contact with your skin, like it's color changing. Because this is also a green lipstick, you know, green. So we're gonna test out today if it changes colors due to different pH levels. So finally got Steve in the shot. He's gonna be joining us for this makeup experiment. And um, he's a big fan of science and of makeup, so I thought, you know, we just have to include him otherwise he would be way too sad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take tape and we're going to tape different sections of my arm. Have the base, which is right here. This is going to be neutral. And this here is going to be the acid. So the arrow goes from here to here. Okay, my bad. Apparently, I did the whole thing backwards. The lower the number is, the more acidic it is, and the higher the number is, the more it is a base. So for this middle part here that is supposed to be neutral, I have some water here on this tissue and I'm just going to clean my skin here as good as possible. Next, I'm going to take some of this soap here for the base and I'm just going to take a tiny drop there and we're going to rub that into the skin here. So for the acid, we're actually going to be using this little lemon here. And I keep talking about lemons, they're limes. And we're just going to rub this right here. The C here does stand for the Catrice, the E stands for the Essence. This is a beautiful, like, clear neon lipstick. It's really, really cool, and it's like clearish, so, mm, I don't know, it's real nice. So we're gonna start off by swatching it here in the middle to just see, um, so far it's clear, but it's starting to show up, if you guys can tell. So you guys can see that, right? It's like a nice pink, I'd say. I don't know, wait, is it pink? Kind of like a peachy pink color here. Next, we're gonna swatch it on top of the soap so the base is dry and we're gonna see what this does. Okay, so it shows up more intense, I think. It showed up way faster and as you can see, showed up way more intense colored. So this one, it's like the same shade, but this is like darker and this is lighter. So now we're gonna swatch it on the lemon. So here it's having the most trouble. I don't know what to expect, but I did not expect this. I was kind of hoping for different shades of color. So this is the base where it is very intense and pink. The neutral one is like, you know, it's there. And then the sour acid one is very, very faint. They say one shade fits all. So I guess since it does not change shades, it just kind of like is a color that should suit everybody but I think everybody has the same pH level on their lips. As you guys can see, this is just green, plain up green lipstick. We'll swatch it once again in the middle here and see what happens. So obviously it is still clear and then it starts to appear slowly, which is pretty cool. This is more of like a pink color here from Catrice and this is definitely more of a like darker red purplish color, I'd say. Next, we will swatch it over here with the lemon. Oh my god, guys. It's actually green. It's like staying green. So around the edges here where I didn't get any of the lime, it like stayed pink. Oh my god, this is showing up so quickly. Oh my god, wow, that is very pink. 
very intense base colors. For the ordinary, like neutral base, we just have like a lighter shade of that. And for the acid, we have a lighter shade of that. And this stayed green. As you guys can see, the green disappeared now, but it's still pink there. So I'm assuming this will also be pink. It's just, yeah, the bomb is like coming off, but it's like leaving a like pink stain. So I think I'm gonna start off with this one first because I feel like this one is gonna be like less fun. Yeah, let's just go for it. Ah! That was the weirdest feeling of my life. This is so satisfying to like cut. Oh, oh, see how much was still in there? Got the soap. And we're gonna mix that in. You know what I mean? Like, would it turn pink? Oh my god, yo, it's turning pink! Ah! I'm just gonna squirt some, like, right there. Okay. Yeah, it's staying, staying green right here. Ooh. One pile, we're gonna mix with the bit, with the soap again and see what happens. Oh, okay. So what's what I do see is that it is less neon colored. I'm gonna squeeze some. Okay, so far nothing is happening. So we're gonna take a little bit of green and start mixing it here with this pink. So my original question was, do these two lipsticks change color? with different pH levels. We actually did not figure out that the lip colors change color, but they do actually change intensities. So the more of a base it is, so the higher the pH level, the more intense the color is, and the lower the pH level is, so more acidic it is, the less intense it is, or it doesn't even change color at all. So I had fun today. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this and hope that you wanna see more because I had a lot of fun and I have plenty of more makeup to destroy slash do fun experiments with. So thank you so much for watching. Please click around the screen to check out other videos of mine. I don't really know where they are because I always put my little face somewhere else. But the point is you can just click around, find a video that you like, and then please watch it. Or you don't even have to. Maybe you hate it. Don't watch it. I don't know. Do what you have to do. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe so that way you are notified whenever I upload a new video and you can watch more experiments that I do with makeup because maybe you're into that. I love you all so much. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Still here. Oh, wait. This could be fun. Is this satisfying? I personally think it's satisfying to watch. Ooh. I call it the Princess Frog Galaxy. I'm all alone here and not gonna lie I'm a little creeped out and I'm waiting for somebody to come around the corner any second to like murder me anyway oh my god I'm losing my glasses why is nobody picking up did you want to pick me up by any chance no okay.